Mass is a palm oil group integrated from upstream, so at the plantation level, all the way to downstream. We are present in 13 countries and we have been a member of the RSPO since 2004. In the early 2000s, the palm oil sector was quite heavily criticized, so it was very heavily questioned. There was a major problem. The major problem was there was no place where to discuss. There was no common language between the actors, between the various stakeholders. So the industry was trying to address its issues, but there was no place, there was no system in which we could all work together, come together and have a common language. So that is the time that the RSPO appeared and immediately uh, Musimas joined the RSPO and that's when we made the decision of then becoming certified as a member of the RSPO. At Musimas, we try to lead by example. So what does it mean in the RSPO context? It means being an active member. We've been an early member, we joined in 2004, and now we are present in task forces, working groups, standing committees, and at the board where I sit for the processors and traders. We have to be an active member. Why? Because we always have to try to see what are the next tools which will be necessary. How are we going to work better with other stakeholders? What needs to be developed, what needs to be adopted in the RSPO? We can also look beyond the RSPO or around the RSPO. For example, we joined the Palm Oil Innovation Group, which was a, a little group of people who wanted to see what would be next for the RSPO, what were the tools that were necessary. And I think that's what we need to be doing to lead in the industry and to promote more sustainable approaches in our industry, better practices. We have to try them ourselves. We have to be always at the forefront of the development of the new tools and their adoption. I think we are very well known for our work with smallholders, for smallholders. But maybe we can look at why we are doing it. We are doing it because smallholders are not limited to, our, to one supply chain. We need to work at jurisdiction level, landscape level. And why, why so? Because we cannot just erect around ourselves a wall of good practices and think we are safe. Landscapes are much more complex, there are other commodities. We need to have an impact beyond our immediate supply chains. Another item on which we've been doing quite a bit of work is on labor. We've opened our operations to Verité, now Dignity in Work for All, and we have been working on not only our performance in terms of labor practices, but also we've tried to expand it to how our suppliers are performing and how can we assess their performance well and how can we best support them to improve their labor practices. And finally, and what is our current big challenge, is emissions. So Musimas was an early adopter of methane capture. 17 of our 18 own mills have methane capture installed and, and generate their own power. But how are we going to really reduce our emissions and those of our supply base? How are we going to achieve net zero? That is what is going to keep us busy for quite a few years to come. The RSPO has had two major impacts on the palm oil sector, all stakeholders together. First, it gave us a common language and it gave us tools on how to develop and how to manage sustainably palm oil. The second one is to create a robust certification system. And that is something that has a high value because then you can pass on the good values of the certification all the way to the consumer. Actually, there's a third thing that the RSPO has done. After 20 years, it still is relevant. It still is the place to be to discuss sustainable palm oil. We know that there is no immediate future possible without palm oil not only for the consumers, but also for the producers. And the other stakeholders in the palm oil industry need to stay together and we need to keep evolving. We need to keep making sure that not only is our sector doing well and has the best possible sustainable practices, but also that we interact with the other sectors in the landscapes. We also need to be ready for regulation, how we will support the regulations which are being put in place to make sure that everybody that there is a bit of a level playground for everyone. I would like to thank the RSPO stakeholders. I would like to thank the RSPO Secretariat for the past 20 years. Not only do we have a common language, we have common tools, which are unique. There's plenty of work left to be done. We will need even more collaboration than in the past, and I believe we will need more collaboration beyond palm oil, not just within our sector, but also beyond our sector in the landscapes where we are present. So another great 20 years.